Hello and welcome. Uh, I got a quick tutorial here uh, on how to use a ZBrush transpose tool. Now, I may not be using the same version of ZBrush that you're using, but the core principles should apply. So uh, let's get started. Um, so load, load up a model. Uh, I have one loaded already. And um, one thing you want to do before you even start selecting any tools or anything is making sure you're on the lowest subdivision. Uh, you don't want to be on a really high subdivision because that's just more polygons your computer has to push. If you don't have a really powerful machine or if you just want to get this done more quickly, you definitely want to work in lower subdivisions. And that's true for almost anything in ZBrush. Um, so let's go and choose the rotate tool. It's up top here. Or you can just press R. And you want to mask off uh, sections that you don't want to be affected. So just hold the control key if you're on Windows and just click and drag over the part you want to uh, expose to the transpose tool. So again, hold control, click and drag over the arm or leg or whatever part you want to uh, be affected. Now, if you notice here, uh, the masking isn't, isn't quite covering, uh, or it's not, co it should be covering less of the shoulder, but we want to move more of that. So you can actually go into the brush tool or or the draw tool, which is Q, and uh, hold now Control and Alt will make it uh, unmask. So you can apply uh, a manual mask. You can draw it, paint it, whatever you like. Uh, if you hold Control without holding Alt, it, it remasks uh, over it. Um, the only problem with this is you can see it's a little harsher. It doesn't automatically smooth out the line. So you have to hold Control and click uh, between the unmask and mask area to smooth it out. If we go to a higher subdivision, you can see it better. Uh, if we draw over it and hold control, click between the two points, it'll smooth them out. Uh, and that just makes it so when you do move move it, it doesn't create this uh, really harsh kind of a separation. It's more gradual. All right. So now that we have it masked off, let's go back to the lower subdivision. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend you're drawing a bone, essentially where you want it to start and where... Uh, how much you want it to cover. And let's say uh, that's about right. You need to move it. Just select the, the middle circle, inner circle of the, the middle circle. And you should be able to, I'm sorry, uh, the outer circle. Back here. Yeah, you want to select the outer circle. Uh, there's two circles here. The outer one is the one you want to select to move it around. So you can see we can kind of line up to where we need it. Grab the outer circle to move it around. There we go. That's about, that's good enough. And then to manipulate it, you have to select the inner circle. So again, the outer circle to move, inner circle to uh, adjust the manipulator. So let's select the inner circle and we can, we can move the arm around. And you can see it's, it's not quite what we're looking for. It's a little, it's a little rough, uh, but we can fix that. And don't worry about that. Um, the other option is uh, you can rotate with the middle, uh, the middle selector. So you select the middle inner circle here and you just click and drag it'll rotate the arm on, the, on that bone so you can see where wherever we drew that that bone it, it kind of rotates like a screw so uh, it just falls along that path so if we made it this way and we try to rotate it it would it would rotate around that axis but that's not what we want let's go back and draw it again and, and and let's see if we can smooth this out so it looks a little more natural. You can see here, uh, it's definitely biting into a little bit into the <laughs> to the armpit. Um, we can make that look a little smoother by actually adjusting the, uh, the masks that we made. So again, let's go back to draw, press Q, and we're gonna make the brush a little bit smaller. And that's up here, that's a, a draw size, adjust the size here. Or just press space and it'll bring it up wherever your cursor is. Um, so let's hold control. And let's draw over the area that we don't want to be affected. So right under the armpit, where it's getting compressed. Let's go back to rotate. Press R. We'll click the rotate button. Now when we move it, it doesn't... It still clips into the armpit, but it's, uh, it's not moving it around as much. Uh, we can also kind of play with the location of the rotate tool as well. So, or I'm sorry, transpose. Let's go to rotate. And let's, let's move it closer to the armpit and see if that does anything. There we go. Yeah, so that's uh, actually looks pretty good. That's pretty good actually. Yeah, and then uh, we'll go ahead and move it back to a higher subdivision. We we'll see what it looks like. 
that looks okay actually now um, with the transpose tool you may need to do some more cleanup afterwards I a lot of times when you use it it's gonna be artifact It's gonna be stuff clipping together and you may need to smooth it out and uh, kind of touch it up don't consider the transpose tool as uh, as the final uh, way the model should look you definitely want to touch it up afterwards but that's from that's pretty much the gist of it uh, the same can be applied to the legs if we go to the legs click and hold and drag we can well yeah click and hold and drag on an empty area to deselect now there's no mask let's mask over the leg leg rotate and we're just going to draw over that and uh, draw the bone from the thigh down and you can it's the same thing you can move it around uh, there's a lot of deformation so you really have to play with the mask um, to find out um, what's a good blend uh, excuse me because it's going to depend on your model like for instance here maybe we don't maybe we want we want to affect this area right here on the thigh we're going to draw a mask over that uh, you know something like that or if you wanted to just uh, Let's say you wanted to mask over all this. And you wanted to bend at the elbow. We'll draw. Uh, let's see here. Let's start at the elbow. Go to the wrist. And now we can move it. Oop! Got the mask that. Go ahead and go back and mask that. There we go. Now we go back to rotate, and we can see it's moving that. Well, I missed a couple points. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but you get the idea. And that's pretty much it. That's from that, and, and that works for the move tool, scale tool. They all work kind of the same way. And, and, and uh, like for instance, um, let's go to the move tool right up top here, which is W. So we're gonna just draw a bone, and then you know use the outside circles to move uh, the uh, the manipulator, and then the inside circle to affect the model. So if we use the inside circle, we can actually move this around completely. Uh, same thing with the scale tool. We can go to one of the, one of the manipulators, pull them, or scale it up and down. And you're going to be using the rotate tool a lot, but uh, you know the move and scale is definitely useful depending on what you're doing. Uh, if your computer can handle it, you know what, work at a slightly higher resolution uh, or uh, sorry subdivision. Uh, you know you can kind of get a better idea of how things deform. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. If you guys have any questions, uh, post in the comments. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, but pretty much it. Catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.